Hey everybody, welcome to another live stream. Tonight we're going to be breaking three cases of 2019 Topps Finest. This just came out today. You might have seen the uh, preview video that I did. I opened up one of these boxes earlier for you guys to kind of get a feel for the product. And uh, now we're going to go through three cases worth looking for all the good stuff that might be hiding in these boxes. So these are full case breaks. There's eight cases per box. And these are the people that bought into the first break that we're going to be doing. This is, I'm just going to call it break A because we have three of them. So we have break A, B, and C. And um, these are all the people in. So as we get the hits and the autographs, I will let you know who is getting that card. And we already had two hits, like I said. We did that first preview box. We had these two hits coming out of that one. We had a Ryan Barucki as our first hit out of box one of break A, done in the preview video, and this one, Fernando Tatis Jr. I was pretty excited about this one. Um, one of the top four rookies around. Um, and we got his autograph in the first box. Uh, by the way, this Blue Jays card here for Barucki goes to Dustin L. And the Fernando Tatis Jr. goes to... Linda W. Linda already right out of the gates with uh, a big hit in the very first box. So without further ado, it looks like we have over 100 people in here now. We can get this show on the road. Break A, box number two. Eric, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a good week. Inside each of these master boxes, there are two mini boxes, and each one of these has um, one autograph in it. Would you consider Brian Reynolds a top rookie, says TMHD? No, I would probably not consider him a top rookie. Top rookies I would consider probably the big four, Peter Alonso. Tatis Jr., Vladdy Jr., and uh, Eloy Jimenez, at least in terms of, like, I guess, desirability for getting their autographs and stuff. Brian Reynolds is having a great season so far. We get it, Ronnie. Hello. How's it going? Austin Riley's off to a really good start for the Braves. Linda has 142 career hits. That's pretty impressive. Um, let's see here. Justice Sheffield rookie card, Michael Kopech rookie card, and Walker Bueller. Now, these are only five cards per pack, so these packs will go pretty quickly. 357 MAGA says, what's for dinner tonight? Uh, half of a hoagie and a couple pieces of pizza. We just um, kind of improvised on the run. Alex Bregman, Blue Chips, Jose Berrios, and Trevor Story from that pack. Should have an autograph coming up. I can't remember if it's the third or fourth pack, but it seemed to come out of the uh, same pack um, both times in that preview box. We'll see if it's different. Chris Shaw, Justice Sheffield, rookie card. Jesus Aguilar, there we go. Jesus Aguilar, all-star last year. Um, really has come into his own since being acquired from the Indians. Jesus Aguilar, and it is also numbered. This one is numbered 90 of 99, Jesus Aguilar. And the first hit of the night of this break, the live stream, goes to our Brewers owner. That's going to be Joseph B. Congratulations, Joseph B. You've got the first one, Jesus Aguilar. I'll put that in the hit pile. Then we have Will Myers and Juan Soto rounding out that pack. So these other three packs, probably no autograph. So far, Three autos, Ryan Barucki, Tatis Jr., and you just saw it, Jesus Aguilar, for those of you just getting in. Next pack. Maybe find some numbered cards in here. We have a Blake Snell off the top, Castellanos, Matt Chapman, Blue Chips. Uh, Gary says, 100 times better than the base design of Tops this year. Yep, these are pretty slick. JCA says they look like knockoff prisms, so everybody um, has different 
opinions on designs. My brother, um, someone just said my brother had a great 1990 Leaf break last night. Prize performers. I did not get a chance to watch that. I was cutting the grass, so that took an. I think I started at like 7.15 or 7.30. So I was literally going the entire time that he was uh, live streaming. So I missed it. But hopefully you got the uh, best cards in there. Frank Thomas rookie card. Sammy Sosa rookie card. Those were two hot cards back in the day for 90 Leaf. And there he is. There's my brother, everybody. And we have our first super chat of the night. It's a five dollar super chat. This one says Central Florida Pickers just bought a former NFL football player storage unit. Check it out if you get a chance. I love Tops Finest. Good luck tonight, Central Florida Pickers. Thank you very much. First super chat of the night. I hope you guys will go and check him out. Click on his super chat there. Click go to channel and uh, check out that storage unit. That would be pretty awesome. That's one thing I've always wanted to do is buy a storage unit. Especially if there's baseball memorabilia in there. I think that would make a really interesting video. Maybe this summer when I'm off. This is the last week of school. Pretty crazy. Um, there's nobody in school at all today, pretty much. A lot of my classes only had two or three kids in there. This is a numbered card. 240 out of 250. Nice Eric Hosmer. Purple parallel there. And Robinson Cano with the Mets. Let's see if the autograph comes out of the third pack again. Bill, how's it going? Colby Allard, Kyle Wright. And it comes out of the third pack. Francisco Arcia, catcher for the Angels. This one is going to Tommy T. Congratulations, Tommy. You got a hit. Tommy T, I think, is third all time on the hit list. Third or fourth. He's up there, too. Gets a lot of hits. Francisco Arcia is our second hit of the of the night what break are you doing next week Jono? john is my brother the past is alive he does a lot of older stuff with older cards he has a um turn back the clock tuesdays have you ever given a kid detention um every now and then not too often usually um we're supposed to give detentions if people are late for class did you see Adam Hazley made his debut? I did not see his debut. I did see um, that unfortunate play with McCutcheon. McCutcheon blew out his knee, torn ACL, and out for the season. Shea Otani, that's a nice one. And Peter Alonso, that's, I think, the fourth one that we've pulled so far. Hold on. I just got to um, put someone in timeout that likes to type the same thing over and over and over again. All right, so now it's on to the second one. We have a $10 Super Chat from Bill Seitz. Thank you very much, Bill. It says, hey, Eric, always love the finest product. Thanks for that Super Chat. I hope you guys will go and check Bill's channel out. Just give him some subs. Click on that $10 and give him a Super Chat. Great friend of the channel there, Bill Seitz. Thank you very much. Hazley's first hit was today, a game-winning double. That's awesome. And we have Danny and Grays with a super chat. Says, nine away from 500. Then the next giveaway. God bless. Thank you very much, Danny and Grays. 500 subs. He only needs nine. There's about 300 of you in here right now. If nine of you could help him out, that would be awesome. And then maybe you'll win a giveaway. Hunt, um, Hunter, how's it going? Free stuff is always good. Anyone know if there will be a retail version? I highly doubt it. I, I don't think so. Jake Bowers, Juan Soto, and uh, Corey Kluber. Yeah, usually the higher-end stuff like this, there's no retail version. You just got to suck it up and uh, splurge, I guess. Eddie Rosario, Billy Hamilton, and Glaber Torres. Cases for this, if you're looking to buy a whole case of these, it's about $950 right now on um, Steel City Collectibles. So after taxes, that's going to be over 1000 if you buy it from Steel City. There we go, Francisco Lindor. How about that? That's another good one. Francisco Lindor is our next autograph. Uh, All-star platinum glove winner. This one goes to the Indians. Justin R, congratulations. And let's check out the number on this one. 
It is number 3450. Very nice. Francisco Lindor hit 38 home runs last year. Um, not having quite the same season this year, but it is a long season. We're not even halfway through. The Indians as a team are just struggling. Um, a lot of people thought the Indians were going to run away with the division, except for this guy. I picked the Twins to win it before the season started. You can go back and check that prediction video. And uh, the Twins are on pace to set all kinds of records this year for home runs and stuff. we got another Tatis, Javier Baez. Yeah, Lindor messed up his ankle, and then I think he, he was hurt a second time on the rehab. I don't know if the, the uh, Indians will have enough to come back and win that, especially with the injuries in their rotation. Their rotation was their strong point, and um, I don't know. I just feel like the Indians are pretty much... Um, Pretty much done for. There's a Yelich, Max Kepler. All right, so that was a nice one. Francisco Lindor. JCA says, do you have a 30,000 subscriber video planned? We just hit 29,000 subscribers about two hours ago. So thank you to everyone that um, subscribed. I don't have anything in the works for 30,000. I was thinking about maybe doing something like giving away 30,000 cards, but I... I don't know how I would do that. Like, I'd, I'd like to figure out who my 30,000th subscriber would be, but I don't know if there's a way that you can do that or not. There's a $5 super chat from Card Collector 65 jw says, next goal is 250. Thank you for what you do. You've inspired me to make my channel doing a giveaway on Tuesday. Card Collector, thank you very much. Hope you guys will check him out. And also, 357 Magus says, will you be doing a Topps Diamond Icons break? Um, not yet. I'm going to have to look into that. And Austin Farmer with the dollar super chat. So all three of those guys, thank you very much. Go ahead and check them out. Give them some subs. Appreciate the support, guys. Ozzy Albies. And here's one of those Mariana Rivera cards. These were advertised on the box. Collect all of the uh, Finest Careers 10-card set. This is an insert set here. This is the first time I've seen one of these. Um, Finest Careers, 42 Rivera. That would be sick if we got a... Um, like an autograph over here, but check this out. It is die cut. See that? So pretty interesting looking card here. Here's the back of it. It's his very last game ever. Finest careers. Cool stuff. I like that card. And Brian Anderson is the last one there. Who got those cards? The Lindor goes to Justin R. I don't know if I consider that Rivera to be a hit. We got Blue Chips, Josh Hader, and then Jose Abreu, number 21 of 99. Buster Posey and Clayton Kershaw. Scotter says, the best pack's out now? Maybe. Um, I don't know. It probably They're definitely probably the most in demand right now. Bowman's also really, really popular still. Those mega boxes you can never find anywhere. There we go. Next one, Ryan O'Hearn. Tops really loves Ryan O'Hearn. It seems like um, every case I buy has a Ryan O'Hearn insert card in it. Um, and he always signs his name B-O-H, looks like, or in this case, looks like a capital Z cursive O-H. Ryan O'Hearn going to the Royals owner. Royals are going to Philip H. Congrats, Philip H. Very nice. Ryan O'Hearn. How's my leg doing? My leg's... Uh, doing okay they put these like uh strips on it though like these medical strips that were supposed to fall off a couple days ago and they're still on there i don't know if i should rip them off or not after they took my stitches out um they put these strips on there to keep it i don't know from bleeding too much luis orias will how's it going every break i watched you pulled a rhino hern yep it seems like um rhino hern was um very much sought after. There he is again. I wonder how many Ryan O'Hearn we're going to pull tonight. Otani Blue Chips. He might become like the uh, new John Wathen. Next pack. We have Steven Duggar. Tukey Toussaint. There's a finest Bryce Harper. Pirates in a rain delay. I didn't even realize. Josh Hader and David Peralta. Took my family out to Idlewild today. It was really a, a wasted trip. We got there, and then 
literally got out of the car at like 5.40, and then the park closed at 6. And I think they're supposed to be up until 8 today. So that kind of stunk. Got there and had to leave pretty much right away. Didn't even get to ride any rides. Today, the Jays drafted Roy Halliday's son. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, he has some success. All right, next box of, box of break A. Let's see if we can top the uh, Tatis or Lindor autographs. Those are the best two so far. 32nd round. Sniper, how's it going? I'd like to find a uh, Marion Rivera. Also, Nolan Ryan is autograph is in here uh, in the Rangers uniform. And we have a $20 super chat from Anthony. It says, hope all is well, buddy. Keep up the great work. Anthony, thank you very much for that $20 super chat. Hope you guys will check him out. Just click on that orange 20 bucks. Go to channel and give him a sub. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Day's going pretty well. Just uh, having some fun, ripping some finest. Eloy Jimenez, I think that's the first time we've seen Jimenez from this release. And we have another super chat from 1983. John Witt says, love your channel. Sent a package for Fan Mail Friday. God bless. Thank you very much, John Witt. Hope you guys will also check him out. And this is the Jimenez. Sorry if there's like some glare in the background with all the lights in here. These are very shiny cards. Byron Buxton, Aaron Judge, would like to pull one of his autos. Jose Martinez, there's comfort cards. How's it going? Comfort cards. Paul DeYoung. Comfort cards has the Rockies in this break. See if we can pull a Todd Helton auto. Jose Ramirez. Zach Granke. And here we go. Here's our next one. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. And it's numbered 23. Kind of tough to see. There we go. 23 of 25. Kyle Tucker. Are we still seeing lots of doubles per pack? I don't think we've seen any yet. Um, unfortunately, that first box had a lot of doubles, but not so much in this box. I don't know if that was just a weird box or whatever, but Kyle Tucker, this goes to Linda W. Congratulations, Linda W. with another hit. That's her second hit of the night, and she just keeps on keeping on. Uh, Bill just says, is Linda in your break tonight? Yes, she is. She just got that hit, and she also has the Tatis. Fernando Tatis Jr. hit. Legendary Linda. All right, let's see what we have out of the rest of these packs. We have a Paul DeYoung, number 49 of 250. Purple Parallel, Kristen Stewart, Michael Kopech rookie card. Pack number, what is this, five, I think. Got Correa off the top. He has a broken rib that he got in a massage. Kind of an embarrassing way to go out. Out for a couple weeks at least. Carlos Craig getting a massage in his home. And uh, broken rib from it. I don't know what kind of massage he was having done, but that definitely is not a good way to land on the DL. Will Myers. All right, that's it for that mini box. Your friend got drafted, Colton Ingram. That's pretty awesome. I was hoping that someone from my school would have got drafted, one of my students, who uh, is a D1 commit, but I don't think he got drafted. Austin Farmer with a $5 Super Chat says, Yankees drafted Hayden Wesneski, who studies in the same building as me at Sam Houston State. Dude throws 95. Professor was proud this morning. Psyched. Thank you very much, Austin, for that $5 Super Chat. That's pretty awesome that someone you know got drafted. Um... I don't know any baseball players that got drafted. I was in class once with uh, someone that got drafted and played in the NFL. His name was Sean Burton. I don't think he ended up really uh, having too much of a career. But still pretty cool. All right, here's our next pack. We got a DeGrom, a Josh Bell, who's been tearing it up this year. There's another Mario Rivera, Finest Careers. Uh, you can see it's also die cut. This is for the saves record when he broke... Trevor Hoffman's record. Trevor Hoffman didn't have that record for all too long. Juan Soto and Corey Kluber. How much do these cost? Um, a case of them cost $950. It's still city, so I'm, there's eight boxes per case. I'm guessing that the, um, a box of these would be 125 ish or more. Reese Hoskins, 
Blake Snell, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna was in the news recently. I don't know if you saw the big hubbub in Pittsburgh. Uh, here we go. This is numbered 80 out of 150. Steve Blass, one of the announcers for the Buccos, got accused of racist comments against Ronald Acuna last night. Uh, here we go. Card Collector 65, JW says, Pirates took pitcher Alex Roth from my school. That's very awesome. Card Collector, thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat. Again, check him out if you haven't already. Corbin Burns is our next autograph card. This one is going to the Brewers again. That's the second Brewers hit. Joseph B with his second hit of the night. He also has the uh, Aguilar that we pulled earlier. So you have Jesus Aguilar and now Corbin Burns. Glaber Torres and Jake Bowers. Now for 120, you get two of these mini boxes. You get two of them. There's like six packs per. Rivera is charging $500 for an autograph at the National. That's pretty crazy. I would never do that. Um, I'd rather just take that 500 and buy a PSA 1092 Rivera. I'm sure people are paying that, though, because a lot, a lot of people love Rivera, and I love him, too. He was one of my favorite players in the late 90s. I bought his rookie card for, like, 50 cents back before he became, like, a big thing. Mike Trout, Colby Allard. There's a Cubs card and then of uh, Bryant Heath Fillmeyer and Michael Franco is the last one. So that's it from that box. The Corbin, Bur Bur Corbin Burns was the hit. When are you going to the National? I'm not sure yet. I'll definitely be there, though. Peyton, how's it going? Chad S. says, no giveaways. Go buy something. Yeah, this is a paid break. We're not going to give away any of these cards. That would not make any sense. All right, let's see here. This next box. Tigers already signed their first round pick. That's pretty good. Don't have to worry about um, dragging that out. Can get it right into the system. Tons of support for Steve Blass. Yeah, Steve Blass, um, basically the Pirates color announcer. He's been around forever. I think he's been with the uh, organization for 60 years. He was basically just saying he doesn't like players that wear all the jewelry and stuff. And some some crazy um, snowflake writer blew it all out of proportion and called him a, a racist and wrote a big story about it from NBC, a national um, outlet, and just said that Steve Blass was a racist. Totally smeared him. It's awful. $1.99, John A. says, I like Rivera too, but not for 500 And sprinkle with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much for those. But anyway, yeah, they, they are accusing him of being racist for saying he doesn't like all the jewelry. And so the writer says that because he said he doesn't like players wearing lots of jewelry, um, he doesn't appreciate the culture and therefore um, accuse him of being a racist. Not fair at all, in my opinion. Because Steve Blass is always complaining about that kind of stuff. He's an old school guy. Um, he's always complaining about Bryce Harper and the hot dogging and stuff. Sprinkle with another Dollar Super Chat. Thank you very much. And then we have Jose Ramirez, Zach Granke, and Todd Helton. There we go. I just said that, Darren. When Darren came in here, I said, maybe we'll pull a Todd Helton autograph. And there it is. Todd Helton autograph. One of the uh, legend autograph in here. That's a nice one. Todd Helton. Darren, there we go. Darren C. Comfort cards. Are you still here? I hope so. I literally called that like a box or two ago. Pretty nice. There it is. Todd Helton. And here's the back. Like that one a lot. Congratulations to Darren. That's top three autograph of the night. I'd probably put that, I don't know, probably number three. Chris says, I'd like to have that one myself. Helton deserves to make the Hall of Fame, if you ask me. Um, yeah, he's definitely close. The first half of his career was really good. The second half was kind of average. He kind of lost all his power once, um, I don't know, once the humidor came into effect. If those power numbers didn't drop off so much, I think he definitely would be. Am I doing a national video? I hope so. Coach should be one night live per week. We usually do um, those on Fridays. Friday's a good day for that. 
Corey Kluber, 247 out of 250. And Will Myers is the last one there. So Todd Helton, very, very nice out of that one. Let's see what we get out of this one. It's probably going to be uh, Cedric Mullins now. Maybe they try to balance out the box with one great auto and then one up-and-coming prospect-type auto. Mark, I'm doing pretty well. Comfort, you missed the Helton. Here you go. Let me show it to you again. Just pulled it about, I don't know, a minute or two ago. Very, very nice. Told you. When you came in here, I said, maybe we'll pull you a Helton, and there it is. All right, here's the next one. Um, Peyton says, can you read my message? Yep. Peter Alonso. It'd be nice to get his autograph. Is Justin spamming? What's my best pull ever? Um, there's been a lot of them. It's tough to just say one. Mike Trout, one of one autograph. Nolan Ryan out of three autograph. Shoyo Tani, one of one autograph. One of these days, I'll probably make a compilation video of all, like, the best hits. Ryan Barucki again for the second time. That's not the Blue Jay that I was hoping for. That's going to Dustin L. So they do balance out the pack with um, put a, one really, really good auto in there with Todd Helton and one prospect one, Ryan Barucki. That one goes to Dustin L. again. So you've got two Ryan Baruckis coming to you, Dustin. Hope you like them. I have a feeling that you were hoping to get a Vladdy. And I still hope that we do find a Vladdy in here. Peter Alonso, 50 of 150. Corbin Burns and Marcus Stroman. We did pull a Vladdy rookie card already in the first box. And Kimbrell just signed with the Cubs, says Lucas. Yep. I did not know that, but I had a feeling that Kimbrell would sign pretty much the day after the break. Or not the break, the draft. Because now there's no draft pick compensation attached to him. Before, if he were to sign before the break, whoever signed him would have had to give up one of their high draft picks. And nobody wanted to do that. So the Cubs get Kimbrell. Cubs needed him too. You have a Bonds auto with a COA. You'd like to do a trade. Wade Boggs is what you are after. I think the best Boggs item that I have is a Wade Boggs autographed rookie card. 83 Fleer. That's somewhere in my PC. All right, next box. There's eight boxes. So this is box number six of eight from this first of three cases. Paul says, today my friend said he spent 30 bucks on an Eric Davis rookie card back in the day. Now it's worth 30 cents. Yeah, that's sad. I saw a few Eric Davis rookie cards at the last flea market we were at for 10 cents. Pretty crazy how some of those cards just completely lost their value. Eric Davis started out his career pretty well, but then it didn't really maintain the same level of play throughout. Alex Bregman, Chris Davis. Then we have Rowdy Telez. Danny Jansen, and Luis Orias. Rosenthal was the first to report the Kimbrel signing. He usually is. It's usually him or John Heyman, it seems. Ryan O'Hearn, how's it going, James? Steven Duggar, Glaber Torres, Blue Chips. Chance Adams, Lariano. What are your thoughts on Chris Paddock? He's been pretty good for the Padres so far. Pro Stock cards with the $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Pro Stock, for that. Hope you guys will check Pro Stock out and give him a sub. This one probably should have the autograph, and it seems like the third one usually has the auto. And it is auto. It's a Philly auto. Is it going to be Bryce Harper? I hope it's Bryce Harper. Let's see if we can guess who it is. It's going to be Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. I was hoping. You could kind of tell it was a lefty swinging the bat. Carlos Santana, it is out of 25, 22 of 25. Obviously, they had this printed up before he went back to the Indians. Uh, that one goes to the Phillies owner. Phillies are owned by Chris L. Congratulations, Chris L. On your Carlos Santana hit, Josh Hader and David Peralta. There's like some little piece of sticky residue on the back of that one. Weird. Must be something from the packaging process. McCutcheon Auto, says Darren. That would have been cool. McCutcheon's out for the year if you haven't heard, folks. Torn ACL, Glaber Torres, 20 of 150. 
It's kind of a crappy start to his first year in the Phillies Uni. 357 Magus says, I ever been to Jacobs Field back in the day? The first time I ever went to uh, Progressive Field was 2008. Vladdy Jr. That's a nice one. That's our second Vladdy. Rookie card. First game at Progressive Field, 2008. I think it was August 20th, 2008. I ended up snagging five balls that day. But I think they had already changed the name to Progressive. Are you still doing the wiffle ball thing? I hope so. Uh, my hand is still messed up. My leg doesn't hurt really at all, but my hand hurts. I don't know if uh, you can tell, like, the, this left knuckle, see um, how it's all misshapen, like this bone here. I, I believe it's probably fractured or broken. I don't know. Either that or, like, a torn tendon or something, but my hand is just killing me. Not killing me, like, I just don't, like, I don't know if you noticed, but I never use this finger anymore for really anything, like opening the packs or shuffling through the cards. Um, it's pretty much useless, Probably should have had it like x-rayed when it happened. What happened was when I was, when I fell, um, must have hit my hand on the way down. So I have not been back to PNC Park since that happened. Missed the entire last homestand and also the entire homestand this time. And I don't know, it might be a career ending injury. Uh, six of 50, been doing a lot of Family time and kids stuff. Stuff with the kids. Chet says maybe Linda W. can heal your hand. She's into voodoo stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just hoping it's maybe like a torn ligament or something. I don't know. Something that it will heal on its own. Yeah, it sucks for ripping. I think part of the reason I didn't want to have it x-rayed. First of all, I didn't realize that it was going to be that serious. I thought I just like had a bruise or something. I guess I was Justice Sheffield from the Yankees. There we go. Justice Sheffield. That's going to Joseph B. Congratulations on your Justice Sheffield. Of course, this was signed back when he was with the Yankees. He is now on the Mariners, but that one still goes to the Yankees team. So Joseph's getting that one. And Mookie Betts. I guess one of the reasons I didn't want to have it x-rayed because I didn't want to have a big cast on my hand because that would uh, that would pretty much end all of the YouTube pack opening videos for, I don't know, at least, what what is it, like two months or whatever would have to be on there? I don't even know. Justice Sheffield. Is Justice related to Gary? I do not think so. Next pack, we have a Luke Voigt, Blue Chips, Chris Bryant, Mitch Hanniger. How far did you fall? I don't know, just from, um, just from standing up to the ground but I hit it on a, a chair on the way down trying to break my fall. Buster Posey, 60 of 99. Um, I've got some video. I got the whole thing on video, but it's very cringeworthy, and um, I don't think you guys would probably like to watch it. It's, it's a very violent occurrence. All right, here is the next one, next box. It's box seven. You want to see that? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll release it. I would have to probably have to blur out the the person's face that did it to me. That's the one of the main, main reasons I haven't put it up. Because I have a feeling it was like 95% by accident and I don't want to like have people mad at this person or be able to identify him and I don't know call him names. No, he didn't apologize. He just um, slinked away and disappeared, never to be seen again. Did you use colorful language? I did. I was upset. Just um, saying colorful words to myself. There's nothing worse than like bashing your shin off of something. That's what I thought I did at first. But then it turned out to be a lot worse when Ted came over and saw it and told me what it looked like because I did not want to look at it. Another new product, says Chris Carr. It seems like there's one every week. D. Gordon. Michael Kopech. Michael Kopech rookie card. There we go. Another good one. That one's going to Tommy T. from the White Sox. Michael Kopech is on the uh, injured list all season long, but he is a top prospect. And um, White Sox fans are expecting big things of Michael Kopech. 
And there's the back of it. You have just received a finest autograph card. Michael Kopech, that one is for Tommy. Congrats, Tommy. I don't know if that's the one you were after or if you were after this guy, Eloy Jimenez. Hopefully, we'll pull one of his autos. I checked out the auto and uh, auto checklist, and uh, all four of those big rookies are in here. So, we'll see. There's Cedric Mullins. I mentioned him earlier. Next one, next pack. Byron Buxton leads things off, then Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, Dansby Swanson, and Jose Altuve. Byron Buxton, probably the best nine-hole hitter in the game. At least um, last Twins game I watched, he was hitting ninth. Next pack, let me just get some of these wrappers out of the way. Jose Ramirez, Granky, it's a George Springer. He's having a heck of a season. And how about this one, Peter Alonso, and it's a red parallel out of five, three of five. Very, very nice. Peter Alonso, that's one of the, uh, I don't know what that goes for, but I definitely want to get that in the sleeve right away. Um, Peter Alonso. Very nice, going super short print, says um, Chris Weaver. Only five of them in existence, going to John L. for the Mets. There's Chasing Donnie Baseball. How's it going? Chasing Donnie Baseball in the house, and Kristen Stewart from that one. So we have 1.5 boxes left, only five reds out there. Rarest card so far, yep. Usually with tops, it's like a one-of-one. One. One out of five, maybe one out of ten, one out of 25 for different parallel sets. So it looks like the red is out of five. And that's probably literally one of the best ones you can get out of um, out of this release, at least for the red parallel set. All right, next pack. Let's see who our auto is going to be in this mini box. Ryan Barucki, Stalin Castro. What are the odds of getting that red one? Um, pff, not good, that's for sure. Maybe we could take a minute once I open the next mini box and check into that. There is a Brandon Nimmo, Aaron Nola, and Joey Votto. One place every month says, greetings from Barcelona, Spain. Greetings to you also. Thank you for watching. Rowdy Telez, Cedric Mullins, Brandon Lau is our next one. This one is also numbered, not quite as low as the other one. This one is a 97 of 150, Brandon Lau. Going to our Rays owner. Rays are owned by, in this break, Linda W. with her third hit of the night. Looks like he wrote Bib, or I don't know, B-C-E, something like that. Linda with her third hit. Miggy Cabrera and Andujar are the other two. The card hobby said that Brandon Lau is an underrated rookie this year. Yep, he definitely is. Never gets mentioned in the in the discussion with all the other rookies. And um, there's the official notification that the Cubs are in agreement with Craig Kimbrell. Yeah, Joey Gallo with the strained oblique. He's going to be out for a little while. He was having a good year, too. The Rangers overall are having a much better year than most people anticipated. Playing over 500 ball. Scott Kingery, Ronald Acuna Jr., and DJ Stewart. Last pack from this box. We have J.D. Martinez, and we also have a $2 super check from, from Nick Hadelman. Two bucks. Thank you very much, Nick. I hope you guys will check Nick's channel out. Thanks for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. All right, last box from break A. Let's see who we pull, and then I, I'll run through all the hits for you. For those of you just getting in here, we're up to 500 of you. When we first started the break, there was 100. So many of you must have gotten in a little bit late. This is the last box of break A, and then we still have two more cases after this for a grand total of three cases. The first two breaks sold out in under an hour, so I was able to stop on the way home from work today, and I picked up a third case. Uh, here is the uh, red. 
one in 4,319, it looks like, somewhere or so. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I just saw red. But it's very, very tough. The Braves game is going to start at 9 p.m. I don't know. It's not even raining here, but I live about an hour from Pittsburgh. I guess they got batting practice in today. I saw my friend Nick snagged four baseballs. All right, next pack, we have Williams Astudio and then Matt Chapman, Corbin Burns, and then Williams Astudio for a second time, and Anthony Rizzo. Shout out to you, Ray King. Thank you for watching. Are you the Ray King former pitcher? You guys remember Ray King? Played probably like 10, 12 years ago, kind of a portly fellow. Eric Hosmer. Next pack. This might have the autograph. We have D Gordon and a $10 super chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball says, Good luck to all who bought in tonight. I have a full case break Saturday night if anyone's interested. And he has 15 teams left. So uh, if you want to check out Chasing Donnie Baseball's channel, uh, there we go. Fran Mill Reyes is the next hit for the Padres. And that one's going to, you guessed it, Linda with her fourth hit of the night, fourth of the break. Uh, Fran Mill Reyes. This guy's got some pop. There's the back of that card. And, uh, yeah, check out Chasing Donnie Baseball. Thank you uh, once again, Chasing Donnie. Hope your Saturday night break with Finest goes well. Michael Heron, or Heron with a $5 Super Chat says, pulled a redemption the other day. Top Series 1 autographed rookie redemption A. What's it worth? Um, I don't know. I think it's worth probably 100 200 bucks. To figure out how much it's worth, I would just go to uh, eBay sold listings and see what it's going for. There's a 150, Gregory Polanco, blue. Linda is psychic, says John. That's her fourth one of the break already. Michael said he's not too impressed with Finest yet. And our last pack, JB says, let's go Mets. And uh, Sean says, pulled a Mickey Mantle cut autograph two days ago. That is awesome. There's a $5 super chat from 357 MAGA. says, starting with 2019, Topps update silver packs will be inside the box instead of loose. Thank goodness. It's about time they start doing that. A lot of dealers take them and don't put them out or give them to the people that buy the box. It's kind of stupid that Topps even does it that way. And ABQ with a $2 Super Chat says, watching on my break at work. Good luck all. Thank you very much to you. So check out 357 Mag and ABQ. Thank you very much, guys. But yeah, a lot of times I'll buy a case and like it doesn't even come with the um, silver packs. It's kind of stupid. They're supposed to give whoever buys the case the uh, silver packs. So we'll see how many silver packs I get for Top Series 2. I have a grand total of six cases ordered right now. Six. I think four are due on release day, and then two more are due after release day. Next, we have Justin Smoke, Carlos Correa, Colby Allard, two Carlos Correas, and Albert Pujols. What's the throwback Thursday? Uh, box this week. I'm going to check what I have um, in my storage cupboard where I keep all my authenticated boxes, but I'm thinking 1983 Don Ross and going for um, a trio of rookies out of there, Sandberg, Boggs, and Gwyn. I was going to do 83 tops, but Chasing Donnie just did that one, so we'll put off on that one for a little while. And then check this one out, guys. Aussie Albies. That's a nice one. Ozzy Albies from the Braves. That one's going to Zach G. And it is numbered out of 99. That is a very nice card right there. And Darren Comfort with a $1.99 Super Chat. Benefactor Patreon working towards 100 subs. I hope you guys will help um, Darren's channel out. Give him a couple subs. He's getting close to 100. Ozzy Albies is our latest hit. And actually, that's going to be the last one of the night. Ozzy Albies or should I say last one of the first case. Still have two full cases left to go. And here's the other uh, couple packs here. 
And then I can recap all the hits for you. Ever consider 97 Bowman for Throwback Thursday? Um, not too much. I'm afraid they're going to stick together. That's what really scares me away about some of those later 90s releases. I had a little bit of trouble with 95 Bowman almost sticking together. A couple of the cards had a couple little paper loss spots on it, but it wasn't too bad. But I'd be afraid that I would get a box that was just totally sticking. And uh, Paul Goldschmidt. So that is it for break A. Let me just go through all the hits really quick. Uh, for those of you that got here late, we had Ozzy Albies coming out uh, most recently. Then Fran Mill Reyes. Brandon Lau, Peter Alonso out of five. I consider that to be a hit. Michael Kopech, rookie card is a nice one. Justice Sheffield, Carlos Santana, numbered out of 25. We also pulled a Ryan Barucki, actually two of him. Todd Helton was a nice one. Corbin Burns, Kyle Farmer, and by the way, this one was also out of 25. Ryan O'Hearn, which uh, it's the obligatory Ryan O'Hearn um, autograph in every case. Francisco Lindor was a nice one. Also, that was out of 50. And Chasing Donnie Baseball says, amazing hit so far. Thank you very much, Chasing Donnie Baseball. Francisco Garcia, you guys could check him out. He's doing the same product on Saturday. Jesus Aguilar, Fernando Tatis was a really awesome one in the first box we opened, and another Ryan Barucki. So we're going to clean these up, and I'll get the second case ready to go. Just give me about one minute. Sam Arnold says, when am I coming to Cincinnati? I am not sure. It's a good question. We're not frozen. I'm just off camera getting the next case, taking the uh, base cards and putting the base cards in a 5,000 count box so I can sort them out. I don't like uh, having all these base cards looming off in the corner. I like to have lots of room. Uh, Dave says you got a one of one K line. That's pretty awesome. I don't know what I would even trade you for that. I don't have too many one-of-ones in my collection. I think the only one-of-one I had, I sent it to Bill Seitz, I think. I think that was the only one I had. All right, so that's it for break A. Now we're going to move on to break B. I've got those safely put away. Break A. All right, here's the next case. Get these eight boxes out here. This is kind of a weird shaped case. It's like extra long. Four boxes per row, two rows. All right, so those are all out. Now let's just run down the list real quick. Um, Break B, that's the second case, all eight boxes. There's a $5 Super Chat, by the way, from Incredible CJ Collectibles. Thank you very much. Says, hey, Jabs and everybody. Uh, looks like I missed some cool stuff. Was showing a preview of the lots for my auction next Wednesday at 7 p.m. So check out Incredible CJ Collectibles if you'd like to get in on those auctions. And also, Tony Glass says, good luck, Case B, folks. Thank you very much, Tony. I hope you guys will check both of them out. And speaking of Case B, here's all the folks in this break. Linda's got the Blue Jays this round. Um, she also has the Nationals. Tommy T's back in here. Linda's got Pirates, Rangers, Rays. We'll see if she continues her luck. John A's got the Yankees. Tommy T's got the White Sox again. So I'll call out the hits as we go. Uh, don't worry, Bill. Um, I, I figured that um, you would probably like it a little more than I would since you are a New Yorker. Plus, you always show so much support that... I've wanted you to have it, so. It was just literally sitting in, um, sitting in a box in my collection. All right, here's the next one. First box, if I can get it open, my gimpy hand. First box of Break B. Sports Trader says, let's go Royals. First ever live break for me. Well, Sports Trader, I have a good feeling that you're probably going to get a Ryan O'Hearn autograph because, like I said, it seems like Topps had him sign a lot of stuff. Every break I do, I usually pull at least one or two O'Hearn autos. Maybe a Brad Keller auto. I think he might be in the autograph set. All right, let's go. 
with this box back in the game collecting with a five dollar super chat says awesome as always jabs if anyone hasn't checked me out i do a lot of giveaways and oddball stuff back in the game collecting hope you guys will check him out thank you very much for that super chat noah says o'hearn's not doing good this year less production yeah i dropped them off of my fantasy team had him for about, I don't know, the first three weeks or so, and then just got tired of the sub-200 batting average. Luke Voigt is the first one. Luke Voigt, Yankees first baseman. John A. with the first hit out of the box. 73 of 99. Congratulations, John A. on your Yankees first baseman, Luke Voigt. There's the back of it. Very, very nice. So that means the rest of this box is probably going to be non-hits, but we'll see what... Uh, comes out of here. Maybe some good numbered stuff. Remember when uh, Luke Voigt got traded to the Yankees, his rookie cards went from like 50 cents to like five bucks or more. Michael Heron with a $1.99 Super Chat says, let's go Mets with the Big Apple. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Hope you guys will check him out. I don't think the Pirates play the Mets again till what? August, first week in August at City Field. Somebody was asking me if I was going to be able to go to that game or those games I definitely will probably not be able to. 58 of 150, Glaber Torres, Glaber Day, and Ronald Acuna Jr. I like Ronald Acuna Jr. a lot. One of my favorite players. Justice Sheffield. Aaron Nola. Bowers and DJ Stewart. There's a $5 super chat from John A. He says, use the force, Luke. That's John A. He's the one that just pulled that Luke Voigt coming his way. Thank you very much, John. Hope you guys will check him out. And also, Incredible CJ follows that up with Luke. Thank you very much for those super chats, guys. Willie Adames, Mookie Betts, Stroman. All right, next one. Next box. Come out to Phillies when the Bucks play the Phils, says Ryan. I don't think I can because we're going to be in school. Pirates play the Phillies at the end of August. It's like a Monday through Wednesday or Thursday series, so we'll be in school all those days. So I will not be able to make it at all. Tommy T-Bone says, great break. I'm watching Colorado and Cubs play uh, and with the break on also as well. It's very nice. I don't know if you're a... Rockies fan or Cubs fan, but if you're a Cubs fan, you must be pretty excited if you just got Craig Kimbrell, Justin Smoke. It's numbered 16 of 250, Kristen Stewart, Kopech. Can you buy those cards in Target or Walmart? Nope. This is not a uh, retail set. Darren says he found my channel two weeks ago, and now he's hooked. Thank you very much. Glad to have you aboard. Jake Bowers is our next hit. Jake Bowers. This one must have been signed a while ago. Still in his Rays uniform there, and um, he obviously has been on the Indians for the entire season, but that one still goes to the Rays owner. The Rays owner are, is Linda W. with her fifth hit of the night. Linda, nice job on the Jake Bowers hit. Jake Bowers, rookie for the Indians, off to kind of a rough start, as is pretty much everyone in the Indians lineup. It's a very weak lineup. Overall, in my opinion, they're all underperforming. Joey Votto, Josh Bell, Corbin Burns. Especially uh, Jose Ramirez has really been a disappointment the first two months of the season. It's like a totally different guy. Kyle says, shaking my head, Linda, I'm speechless. Salvi, Salvi Perez and Eloy Jimenez. How much is a box of fine? It's about 120 125 You can get a case of these for 2 not not two. I wish it was two fifty. Nine hundred and fifty dollars for a case of eight boxes. Um, Keith says, "Thank you, Mister Jabs. After thirty years, I'm collecting baseball cards again. And boy, has it ever changed! Yep, it sure has. A lot different than when we were buying packs for forty five cents back in nineteen eighty nine or whatever it was. I think tops was forty five cents. Z bag says these cards are beautiful." They definitely are very snazzy. All right, next um, box, box number two of eight. Am I a Phillies fan? No, I live on the wrong side of Pennsylvania. I live closer to Pittsburgh than Philadelphia. Philadelphia is about, I don't know, 
four and a half hours away. Four, four and a half. Hall of Fame baseball card says, got to run. Good luck, all. Keep up the good work. Jabs, please get in touch with us. Hey, I was watching your break for a little bit. Hall of Fame baseball cards. You guys were doing finest today. I was catching a little bit of that. I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to, like, I don't know, interrupt your chat. I know some people in there will... I got accused last time of hijacking the chat. But uh, awesome, awesome channel. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, HOFBC.com. He was the first one to do the finest break, at least that I saw. That's Card Shop Eric and Corbin Burns for the um, Brewers. This one's going to Dustin L. That's our second Corbin Burns that we pulled. Here's the list in case you don't believe me. Corbin Burns, Dustin L. Congratulations on the Corbin. So what was that? Was that the first pack? So we got a bunch more packs to go through. From this box, just um, finding parallels and numbered cards now at this point. Maybe a, a Vladdy. Next one. Syndergaard, Joey Gallo, who's on the IL. Michael Kopech, also on the IL. Whoops, Butterfingers. Need to get this hand better. Baron, shout out to you. Any Tigers yet? Says Detroit Tigers 99. I've seen Kristen Stewart a few times. Some of these um, teams don't have that many players. Like, for example, the Marlins don't have many. The Rangers, I think, might only have Joey Gallo and a Nolan Ryan autograph. I'm trying to think uh, who else has very few amount of players. Um, the Diamondbacks have very few. So I sold the Marlins, for example, for $7.99 free shipping. So after like $4 shipping or whatever, basically I charged 2 bucks for that team. Good chance we don't even pull any Marlins cards, which, I mean, if that happens, you just get a refund. Corey Kluber, 14 of 50. Is your hand better than it used to be? Um, not really. It's definitely not as good as it was two weeks ago before I had that mishap. Josh Davis says, I bought the Marlins because they were cheap and the Braves were gone. Well, maybe you'll pull um, some Marlins. Who knows? I tried to look over um, when I priced the breaks. I tried to, for the finest break, I went through the checklist and wrote down how many base cards you could pull. Also, how many autograph cards you, you could pull. And the Yankees were the uh, number one for autos. Braves were up there with a lot. Cedric Mullins. I knew he was coming. Cedric Mullins from the Orioles. That one is coming to Tommy T. Congratulations, Tommy T. I kind of predicted that Cedric Mullins in the last case. I mentioned him, but um, there he is. Cedric Mullins, 123 or 150. I don't know if he's back up with the big club yet. He started the season with the Orioles and just struggled mightily and got sent down. And uh, that's the last I heard of him. I don't really follow the Orioles too closely. So I don't know. He's one of their prospects. We'll see how his career develops. Never know which younger player is going to take off. DJ Stewart, Mookie Betts. How do I get the card? Says Carter Sauce. I sell all of these on Patreon. So you'd have to be a Patreon member. Blake Snell. Your site seems to be doing a max headroom. What does that mean? Max headroom. I know a couple of these tiers have sold out. If that's what you're talking about. Maximum capacity on the website. Peter Lonzo out of 150... That is um, number 88 of 150, Chris Bryant and Mitch Hanniger. I think I read about a 101 Harper, says Ryan Fan Phillies. That would be pretty sick to pull that one. There's a Tatis, Mancini, Shoyo Otani, Yusei Kikuchi, rookie card, and Josh Bell. Any Reds autos? Yeah, I think there's, I want to say there's two in here. I, I can't really remember. I'm off the top of my head, but... Um, the Reds weren't a very expensive team, so they probably didn't have that many. What I would say is, um, on all my eBay listings, whenever I list a break, I always put the entire checklist there. So you can see for yourself how many autographs are in the set for each team or whatever. You can look at every little bit before you make your decision. I'd like to, you to be informed as possible. All right, next box. Charles is a Phillies fan. 
you must be bummed out about McCutcheon. Lost him for the year. One of your big free agent signings. Let's see if I can get this open. How many cards are in the set? There are 100 base cards, and there's also an extended base set, but I don't think I've seen any of the extended ones yet. Um, those must be probably short prints, because I wanted to say that um, Starling Marte was in the extended set. I think there's three Pirates in the extended set. How about those Braves beating up on the Pirates? Not surprising. We have a redemption card, guys. A redemption card. Let's see who it is. Mike Trout. Sometimes when we get redemption cards, it's usually a good player because they're not really going to do a redemption for somebody like, um, I don't know, I don't want to offend Dansby Swanson, but like a Kevin Kramer or Kevin Newman from the Buccos, you're not going to get a redemption for those guys. Let's see, we have Incredible CJ Collectibles with a $2 Super Chat. It says, one of one tonight, calling it 12 from 450 Thank you very much, CJ. Hope you guys will check him out. And there's Donald Blomdahl. How's it going, Donald? Let's see who this redemption is of. All right, it is your due to receive a finest origins autograph of Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer Yadier Molina. That's a good one. I was hoping it was going to say like Nolan Ryan or some legendary Hall of Famer, but I mean, Yadier Molina is going to be a Hall of Famer someday, like five years after he retires. He'll probably be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Everybody really respects him. Uh, that one is going to Chris P. Chris P., congratulations on your Yachty Molina auto there. Auto redemption. You'll just have to follow the steps on that to claim that card, and Tops will send it out to you in a couple weeks. Charles is crying. Charles, why are you crying? Breaks are supposed to be a happy time. And then there's Tim English with the website. He runs the Jabs Breaks website where he tracks all of the hits. So you guys can check out the all-time standings. Linda's number one. Everyone pretty much knows that already, but who's number two, three, four? Check it out. Tim's done a lot of work on that. And Tim, I have to get you some breaks, um, some spots for next week in Series 2 of Tops. We'll get you maybe the Tigers, I think you said you like. 39 of 50, Max Kepler and Jose Barrios. And we have a $25 Super Chat coming in from Richard Berry. Thank you very much, Richard Berry, with the $25 Super Chat. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the support of the channel, Richard. Hope you guys will click on his orange $24.99. And then simply just hit that subscribe button. Thank you once again. All right, last pack. We already pulled the autograph hit out of here, so let's see. Oh, Charles, you're crying because of McCutcheon. Yep, sorry to hear that, but you never know. Hazley might come up and do really well. Maybe he gets Wally pipped. McCutcheon was leading the National League in walks at the time of his injury. He's hitting around 250-ish, 10 home runs, having a, an okay season. Say he's having a, a, an above average season. There's a five dollar super chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball. It says 75th anniversary of D Day tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me. Thank a veteran tomorrow. God bless our troops. June 6, 1944 is D Day. That was the day when the American and Allied forces stormed the beaches at Normandy and uh, were just met with intense opposition. So. If you don't know about D-Day, I would suggest you do uh, do a little research, do Google. There he is, Ryan O'Hearn, I told you. I told you. Ryan O'Hearn going to, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I This is embarrassing. Giuseppe? Giuseppe? I, it's going to you. Um, you commented the Royals owner said, let's go Royals. I said, you'll probably get a Ryan O'Hearn because he's one, there's one in every case, it seems. Cannot escape Ryan O'Hearn, John Wathen Jr. And there he is, Ryan O'Hearn, going to our Royals owner. Um, I hope I said your name right. If you want to uh, maybe like spell that out phonetically for me, because I do not know how to pronounce that. I do not know any Italian. Ryan Fanfilly says, um, Bruce, Hazley, and Harper will be just fine in the outfield. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever happened to Nick Williams? Does he play much anymore? 
We know that Aduval Herrera is likely going to be shown the door or at least uh, have a much reduced role when he comes back. I mean, Herrera was stinking up the joint anyway before the uh, allegations about the uh, domestic assault. Richard Berry with a $25 Super Chat again says, you've got me back into the hobby, Eric. Love your channel and thank you for all you do, man. Richard, thank you very much for the second $25 Super Chat. Very, very generous of you. Thanks for the support and welcome back to the hobby. And I um, hope you guys will go check his channel out, give him a sub. Donald Blomdahl says, watch out for Richard Berry's channel. That's awesome. I hope you're making... Uh, Making YouTube channel or YouTube videos as well. Why can't there be an Aaron Judge in every case, says John A. That would be nice. I really wish there was. Cedric Mullins again. Then we have another Mariano Rivera. Finest career moment. And um, this one is the 99 World Series MVP award, Scooter Jeanette. Thomas says, please explain what a super chat is. Well, where you just type that message, there's a little dollar sign. If you click on that, you can have a highlighted message in bold. Um, and I will read it and stays on the screen for a little while. 180 or 182 of 250. Basically, it's an extra way to support the content creators. I really appreciate all you guys that do. All right, here's our next box. Truth Seekers Jason says you should get your 65 Clemente tomorrow at your P.O. box. Thank you very much, Truth Seekers Jason. Truth Seekers Jason had some very generous super chats um, in our last live stream and mentioned sending a 65 Clemente. I cannot wait to open that one. I might have to save that one for last on Fan Mail Friday. Save the best for last. Roberto Clemente. That would be the best Clemente that I own automatically, I, I do believe. Um... I have a 68 one that's in pretty rough shape. I have a 60 one too, which is pretty nice. Can't forget about that one. And we have a $15 super chat from Damone. Did I say that right? I hope I said it right. Damone Serlo says, can I have all the money back I spent on 1990 Donruss, please? Yeah, you and me both. I spent every dollar that I came into, into contact with from 1989 up, in, up until 1997, I'm convinced that I spent it on baseball cards. Like, literally every dollar that I ever made or was given to me for birthdays, Christmases, whatever, every single dollar that I ever got from ages like 9 to 16, 17, was all, all went to baseball cards. Bryce Wilson! Bryce Wilson is our next hit. That one's going to the Braves owner, Josh D. Josh D., congratulations on your Bryce Wilson. Uh, very nice. It is numbered one of 25. Is Andrew McCutcheon a Hall of Famer? I would say no. Um, I've, I'd probably put him kind of in the same category as Andrew Jones. When McCutcheon comes on the ballot, I think he'll be down in the single digits for support. Andrew McCutcheon's career kind of really tailed off too once he hit the uh, early 30s. But he was really good. His uh, mid to late 20s, he was really good, but I don't think that's enough to get you into the Hall of Fame. I mean, if he plays a, a bunch more years and gets 3,000 hits, then you never know. He could uh, make a comeback. But as of this minute, if you made me bet $1,000, I would bet no. Mike Trout, Justin Smoke, Luis Urias. Uh, what is that? 10 of 250. Chet says McCutcheon lost his hair and lost his steam. I, you're not wrong about that. The year he cut his hair was the year that his decline started. So it must be something about the uh, those dreads he had. Michael Kopech. Bill says I pulled a '91 Donruss Elite card. Doug Drabeck. That's pretty awesome. Did you keep happen to keep the wrapper to that? I would be really interested to. Um, I don't know if you have a picture of the wrapper, but compare that wrapper to a regular 91 wrapper without an Elite in it. Because I read a rumor that there, there's a slight shade variation with the wrappers that have the Elite cards in them, and I'm really interested to uh, figure that out. Chasing Donnie Baseball with a $5 Super Chat says, Sneaking up on 500 thanks to you and your channel, Eric. 80 more to 500. It just seems like 
I don't know, a couple weeks ago, Chasing Donnie was um, in the double digits, and now he's almost at 500. Congratulations on that. Chasing Donnie Baseball, really appreciate that super chat, and I hope all 485 or so of you, if you haven't already subbed to him, will check him out. Does a lot of breaks, and speaking of breaks, we have our next hit in this break. It's a Francisco Arcia for the second time. That one's going to James S. James S. We're hoping for a Trout or Otani for the Angels. But for right now, we'll have to settle with Arcia. Hopefully there's another one in there. There's Trout the Beast. That's Micah. He says he would take that one. Peter Alonso, rookie card again. Trevor Story, Will Myers. Matt Hurst says, please start doing football. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I know enough about football. I feel like I would just be able to sit there and read their names and not kind of like elaborate every now and then about players. Austin Farmer with a $2 super chat says, shout out for Trout the Beast 27th uh, hitting yesterday. Thank you very much for that super chat. And he's giving a shout out to Trout the Beast 27th hitting session. You must have done pretty well in your hitting. And Charles is crying again. I hope it's not over uh, McCutcheon again. Next uh, pack, Cindergard is in the middle. Trout the Beast says his coach is... What about your coach? They don't need you to bunt. They need your power. Um, DV's Cards and Collectibles says, how many other YouTube channels do you watch? Um, I watch a few of them every now and again when I have time. Um, today, for example, I checked out Coach K's and uh, Lone Star's channel. I was tuning in to see who won their um, big giveaway that they do. So I was watching that for a little bit. It's just a matter of having time. I always watch my brother's stuff. Um, Sports Trader said, you pronounced my name right, but you can call me Joe. Uh, also, I'm giving away a Bowman Mega Box once I reach my 150 mark by the end of the month. So guys, check out Sports Trader 499 and give your chance or give yourself a chance at winning a Bowman Mega Box. Those are selling now for like 38 to 40 bucks on eBay. They're really, really tough to find. There's certain people that go around to all the different targets and buy them all and then flip them on eBay for double the money, basically. Um, so that's why we can never find them. So if you do that, maybe leave some for the rest of us next time. Carter Sauce says, are you a Pirates fan? Yes, I like the Pirates. I'm a Pirates season ticket holder. Haven't been in any games in a little while, though. Jimmy with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Jimmy, for that super chat. Really appreciate the support. Hope you guys will check him out. Craig, or uh, yeah, Kibber was signed by the Cubs. 357 MAGA is reminding everybody. Mike, if you didn't hear, that's the news. C10 Sean says, I thought baseball cards were dead. Should I start buying again? They are, seem to be making a comeback. Trout the Beast says, I need the boom box. Maybe you can arrange an agreement with your parents to maybe get you a subscription in exchange for doing some chores or yard work each month. Shoya Tani, Baraki, Matt Olson. They have a cheap one for only, I think, $29.99. The one that I opened yesterday was the higher-end version. That's the $50 version. Those packs are more expensive. And we have another redemption. Let's see who it is. The last redemption we pulled was a Yadier Molina. So is this going to be another Yadier Molina? I hope so, just because that would be pretty cool. I actually hope it's somebody different. It's going to be a prize performer's autograph. This one, it's a variation orange refactor. Orange, what was that, out of 25? The orange refactors, I think, are out of 25, just like the Bryce Wilson and Kyle Tucker that we pulled. This one is going to be... Didi Gregorius. Didi Gregorius is coming John A's way. Congratulations, John. Didi Gregorius of the Yankees. I guess Didi was probably doing some rehab and wasn't able to sign. Um, of course, he had Tommy John, so he doesn't want to be using that arm too much. So Didi Gregorius, he'll probably be back in the next month or two. That one is going to John. So, John, that's two hits for you. Started off with the Luke Voigt. Now you got a Didi Gregorius. Very nice. Walker Bueller and Jose Barrios. All right, let's go through the rest of these three or four packs here. John A., there he is, says, yay, DD. That's John's second hit of the night. Thank you very much for that super chat, John. Really appreciate that. 
Always makes me happy when um, the more expensive teams get a hit. The Yankees were the most expensive team in this break, um, seeing as they have the most players on the checklist and also just dominated the uh, insert checklist. I mean, the autograph checklist. They have the most autos by far. Glaber Torres. Be nice to find one of his autos. Zachary Bright says, pretty disappointed I bought a 2015 Don Ross Hobby Box. Only got one auto and two relic. You were hoping for three autos. That stinks. Yeah, that happens every now and then. Sometimes they'll give you like an extra auto or two and give you like four or five hits. 2015. That's the one with Tony Gwynn on the front. I opened, um, I'm trying to think who I got out of mine. I opened mine probably like almost a year ago. I honestly can't even remember the hits that I pulled out of that. All right, here's our next one. Next mini box. Make sure I get all the packs out of there. Who will the next hit be? 618 Sports Card says, I've been trying to sell my Wander Franco and a, chrome, a Camo Chrome out of 100. No luck so far. Brandon Lau is the next hit. First pack. That one is the second Brandon Lau that we pulled, and that one is going to Linda again. Linda with her second hit of, I think the second hit of this particular break, and I think that's six overall for her on the night at least. There's a $5 super chat from a mess of things. It's weird. Somehow I got unsubscribed. How am I ever supposed to get any work done when you keep coming uh, with the awesome videos to distract me? Thank you very much, a mess of things. Um, thank you for the super chat. Sorry if I'm distracting you too much at work. I don't think this break will be too much longer. We have one more case to do. I would say we're done, I don't know, in about an hour tops. And then we have a $5 super chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball. It says Mario Rivera coming up. I feel it. I hope you're right. I hope it's an autograph and not one of the um, insert cards. That would be pretty sick. Thank you, Chasing Donnie Baseball, for the super chat. Kimbrough got three years, $45 million. That's a far cry from what he was originally seeking. At the beginning of the offseason, Kimbrough wanted six years and $100 million. So he basically got about half, a little less than half of what he wanted. Kind of really stinks for him. Craig Kimbrell, I would say um, he's on a Hall of Fame track right now. I think if Kimbrell could put up a few more great seasons, I could see him getting serious consideration for the Hall of Fame. He's on the track. Like, he's not in there. He's not like a shoe-in. Like, Pujols is a shoe-in. Shoe um, Pujols could retire right now and be a Hall of Famer. Same thing with, like, uh, Miguel Cabrera, Clayton Kershaw, those kind of guys. Kimbrell still has some work to do, but I think he's on the right track. Dota Tough says, based on the preview video, I'm guessing there's doubles in every pack. It hasn't really been that prevalent. Like, a couple packs have, but not like that first box. That was pretty crazy how, like, um, there were so many doubles in that very first box that we opened. But really haven't seen it since. And now we have another hit. It's another um, Braves hit. Tuki Toussaint going to Josh D. Josh D. You got Tuki Toussaint coming your way. Put that in the hit pile. Clayton Kershaw. Who is Linda? Linda W. is a legend. Basically, if you're new to the live streams, Linda has, um, Linda and Bob, her husband, have been regular participants in our breaks, and they always seem to always get hits. Like, no matter what, she can have one team or three or four teams, and she always comes away with autographs. Very, very good at picking the teams that they buy. I think 147 total hits, and I think second place is in the 60s. But I remember the one breaks. I think she had two teams, and she had like eight or nine hits. It was absolutely crazy. I forget what it was. It might have been Prism. I can't remember the exact break. All right, here's the next pack. Eric Hosmer, Gregory Polanco, David Peralta, Ramon Lariano, and Josh Hader. Hey, off topic, but can I find a box of Desert Shield? Yeah, you can find those, if, but only if you want to pay about $8,000. They're really expensive. Eight 
to um, $8,500 or so on eBay, I think I read. That'd be a pretty cool Throwback Thursday one of these days. Throwback Thursday, 1991 Topps Desert Shield only. I don't even know what I'd charge for that. I'm trying to just ballpark figure, maybe um, $20 a card or something like that. It would be a pretty crazy amount. Next box. Yeah, I mean, commons are usually worth like, I think about 10 bucks or so. so. Yeah, I think there's like, what is it? Like 500 plus cards per box of 91 tops. I don't know, 15 bucks a card. That'd be a crazy one to do though. Like I would not want to get into uh, all the randomizing and trying to figure out who gets what. Looks like we might have an auto here. It is an auto. This one is a Mets player. And it is going to be Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil, 76 of 99. That one's going to our Mets owner. That is Dave G. Congratulations, Dave G, on your Jeff McNeil. He is, uh, he's had a pretty good 2019 season. Jeff McNeil, 76 of 99. I like that card a lot. That's a nice one, Jeff McNeil. Corey Kluber and Billy Hamilton. The font says, dang it, I got to go. All right, the Fonz. Hope everything's all right. Austin Riley just singles in the top of the second. Josh Donaldson scores. The Braves now lead the Pirates 1-0. Just got that update for you Braves Pirates fans out there. Looks like the Pirates are probably going to be on their way to another loss. I definitely can't be too happy about that rain delay. Game started at 9. I probably won't be over till after midnight. And then they have to get up early tomorrow morning and come back and play tomorrow at 12.35, so they probably have a report time of at least 10.30 at the latest. Javier Baez. But, I mean, they're getting paid tons of money for it. I don't think I pulled a Kyle Farmer in break A. I don't think we pulled any Reds in break A, did we? Kyle Tucker, Michael Franca, Scooter Jeanette. What do you think about Ahmed Rosario? I think he's speedy. I'd like to see him play a little more before I really know what to think of him. All right, here's our last pack from that box. Kepler and Anderson. Two more boxes left for break B. And then we have one more full case after this. Matt Hurst has a sealed box of 93 Leaf if I'm interested. That's pretty cool. Um, the only problem with 93 Leaf is um, they're probably all sticking together inside. Someone just said, what have I missed? You've missed about, I don't know, roughly two-thirds of the overall break. It's been some nice cards so far. I'll go through the hits again of uh, this case. I'll go through the hits. Break A, you'll just have to kind of scroll back through and see when I recap those ones. Had Todd Helton autograph, Yadier Molina. What do you think about Austin Riley's future? I don't know. He's been killing it so far. Chasing Donnie Baseball with a $2 says, Mo Auto, Mo Auto, Mo Auto. How about Jose Martinez Auto? That's not the Mariana that we wanted. And by the way, thank you very much, Chasing Donnie, for that super chat. Jose Martinez going to the Cardinals. Cardinals are owned by Chris P. That's Chris P's second hit this break. He also pulled the Molina. Jose Ramirez, all hit, no glove, 4 of 99. But uh, if you can hit, they will find a place for you no matter how bad of a fielder you are. It's a nice uh, Jose Martinez card there out of 99. What players would you invest in if you just started collecting? Well, it all depends on your budget, of course. If you're not willing to spend a lot of money, you could try to buy some of the uh, some rookies of uh, players out there that you can get for, I don't know, out of the 10 cent, 25 cent boxes. Or you go for the uh, other rookies. Big four right now seem to be Peter Alonso and Tatis Jr., Vladdy Jr., and Eloy Jimenez. Everybody seems to be collecting their stuff. Michael Heath with a $5 Super Chat. Thank you very much for that. Hope you guys will check out Michael Heath. You could even go into Bowman and start getting some prospects like Wander Franco. If you want to do some prospecting, Joey Bart is another one that people seem to like. Shoyo Otani. Yeah, show you Tawny. Um, his stuff is uh, already kind of increased in value. He's usually one of the more 
expensive cards in most sets. But if you're just starting out, I don't know. It wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess, just to try to get as many rookies as you can from each set. That way, whoever makes it big, you'll have this rookie card. Have you pulled an Austin Riley auto yet? I think we did pull... I've pulled Austin Riley before, but not in this particular break. Charles is sad again. What's wrong now, Charles? Thoughts on Jared Kalanick? Um, one of the uh, top prospects for the Mariners. I don't know. He's, he's definitely a hitter. Jamie Moyer, rookie, 72 tops. That might seem that way, but Jamie Moyer's rookie is 87 tops. Justice Sheffield for the second time. That one is going to John A. That's John A's, uh, what is that, your third hit of this break? John A, having some good luck there. Congrats on another Justice Sheffield. Well, luckily for you, they didn't decide to put him in his Mariners uniform yet. I don't know if they had the, these cards already printed up and ready to be signed this offseason or why that some of these uh, autographs are out of date by four or five months. Nicholas Castellanos out of 250 and Ramon Laureano. Dota Tough says, Jeff, you got to start rehabbing that index finger. I'm just kind of taking it easy. I just like when I open packs, I used to always go like this, but now I, I never even use it anymore. How much is a box of Top's Finest? It's about 125 ish depending on where you buy it at. Somewhere in that range. Pretty expensive, true, but if you get a big hit out of it, it'll make it all worth it. Paul Goldschmidt, David Peralta, and Aaron Nola. That is a lot of money. You're right. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Chris says, did I get any Gary Sanchez autos? Not tonight. At least not yet. What about Jay Bruce going to the Phillies? I think that was a good move. Jay Bruce was hitting around 200 with uh, showing some power for the Mariners. This is a good pickup. He's probably going to be playing, um, playing some platoon for the Phillies. Maybe... Um, Heading against the righties. All right, so that was the next to last box. We got one more left. What do you think of the 2019 draft? I didn't really delve too much into the 2019 draft yet to learn about any of the players. I did see Bobby Witt Jr. went to the Royals. I heard he's supposed to be really good. Do I have any Tommy Pham autos? Nope. And what's better, retail or hobby boxes? It all depends on your budget. Hobby boxes are definitely better in terms of overall quality and chances of getting autographs. Retail are more, um, more geared towards budget buyers, fans that don't want to, uh, you know, plunk down like $120 for a box of Finest and go buy a blaster box for like 20 bucks. Still get some nice cards, but you're likely not going to get an autograph unless you buy a bunch of them. All right, here we go. Matt says, I never get anything from packs I get at Walmart. Yep, that's because those are retail, so it's a lot tougher. If you look at the odds on those packs, Michael Kopech again for the second time. That one's going to Tommy T, so Tommy T with another Kopech hit. That's the second Kopech. Rookie card. It's a nice one. Mr. Baseball has a Bobby Witt Jr. USA card. If you're in your 30s or 40s, you might remember his dad, Bobby Witt Sr., the pitcher. 150, 150, Gregory Polanco. That's pretty cool. I always like getting the last printed card of any parallel. It's kind of neat. Jay Bruce hit three homers the past two games. That's awesome because he's on one of my fantasy teams. Picked him up. And then I saw he was traded to the Phillies. I was like, oh, great. He's probably not going to get a lot of playing time now. But then McCutcheon went down, so I'm going to stick with him for a little while. Pujols. Prize performers, Altuve. Is this break B? Yes, it is. This is break B. And we are at the very end of break B. So break C is going to be starting up in I don't know, a couple minutes. Almost there. Justice Sheffield in his Mariners uniform. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts has really turned his season around. He's got that batting average up there. Hardball picked him up also. Speaking about Jay Bruce. Yep, in a deep, deep, deep league like I'm in, it's really tough to find players, so... Sometimes you just got to take that guy that's hitting 200 but can maybe pop you a couple home runs. Any Braves hits? Yes. Two Braves hits so far, I do believe. I'll recap those in a second for you. Tukey Toussaint was one. That's right. 
All right, this is the last box of break B, and then we have one more case to do before saying goodnight for the night. I think Ozzy Albies was in break A. I can't remember. They're running together, but I will show you all of them in a minute. Maybe Ozzy Albies was in break B. We'll see in a second. I've got the break pile right next to me. Corbin Burns is our last auto from this case. It is numbered out of 52 of 50. Corbin Burns going to the Brewers owner, Dustin L. Dustin, I think that's second or third one of this particular case for you. So we have these last couple packs, and then I'll go through the autos from this case, and we have one final case to do. These cases don't take all that long, just because there's only five cards per pack, so it's a pretty quick rip. Tim says there's been two Brewers this break. Okay, gotcha. Kristen Yelich out of 50. Shoyo Tani and also... Oh, we got a $10 super chat from All About the Hobby. Thank you very much for that. It says, love your channel. I'm an, an Army vet returning to the hobby and building my following and do a lot of videos from retail to hobby and other sports finds. Please check us out. We're only a few subs away from 100 Thank you very much. I hope you guys will click on that $10 super chat and uh, get him to 100. Thank you very much for your service. Really appreciate that. Remember, everybody, tomorrow is D Day. Um, can never forget the sacrifice that our veterans have made for us. Really appreciate uh, everything that you've done for our country. And thank you for that super chat. And Austin Farmer says, Hope you got my fan mail Friday package. Surgery is tomorrow. Austin, thank you very much for that $2 super chat, and I hope surgery goes well. It's, um, it'll be good just to get out of the way. Just get to the next step and get to the rehab process. Get back towards 100%. Last pack of this case, and we got one more case to go. David Peralta's the last one. So here we go. This is the hits from this case. I've got the hit right here. Someone just said the Ozzy Albies auto sold for 100 bucks today. We got Corbin Burns, which was the most recent. Michael Kopech, Justice Sheffield. We had three Yankees out of this one. Jose Martinez, that one was out of 99. Jeff McNeil, also out of 99. Tuki Toussaint, one of the Braves hits. Brandon Lau, I think that was one of two. D.D. Gregorius, Redemption. Francisco Arcia, Bryce Wilson, that was another Brave hit. So I think that was the second one. That one is numbered out of 25 if you can't see it. Ryan O'Hearn, who's in every case. Yadier Molina was a nice hit. Cedric Mullins. Corbin Burns for the second time. Jake Bowers. And Luke Voigt was the first one out of that case. So now I have one more case to do, guys. Just let me uh, grab it, and we'll do that one. Final case of the night coming up. It is going to be break C. Another full case break, all eight boxes. Just put, I'm putting the base cards down here. I probably should do this as I go. There's a $5 Super Chat. It says, Eric, will you be at the All-Star Game this year with Zach Hample? $5 Super Chat. Thank you very much for that. Um, I do not know. I am not sure if I'm going to be at the All-Star Game or not. I was originally planning on it, but, you know, plans change. I don't know. I know Zach Camp will be there. Zach Camp will be in that center field section. The bullpen seats. The uh, By far the easiest place to snag a ball there, especially in a crazy atmosphere like that All-Star game is going to be with fans everywhere. The bullpen seats are going to be pretty much money for getting baseballs. So thank you for the Super Chat, and I just I don't know. Those, those, um, those are going to be very expensive. Here's our last case. This is break C. Just going to take these boxes... Set them in the background. These are the last eight boxes of the night. Top's finest. I'd like to get a Rivera Auto or something like that out of here. It'd be pretty nice. And I'll also run down for you who's in break C in a second. All right, I'll just toss that aside. Here's the list. These are all the people that bought into this break. Kyle M's got the Angels. Linda's got the Strohs. Scott's got the Athletics and so on. I mean, you guys know who you have, and I'll call out 
Uh, every time we get a hit, I'll let you know. The Yankees, who had three hits last case, now are owned by Timothy M. So we'll see if they produce three more hits. Hope they can produce some more. We'll see. We'll find out here in a second. Here we go. First box of our final case of the night. Top's finest. I actually picked this up on the way home from work today. I kind of felt bad because there's a lot of people that missed out on the um, original listing. Thank you very much. Soul Jor says you're the best. Thank you very much. The first finest break sold out in less than an hour. So I wanted to get another case, but I didn't want to get one unless I had it on release day. I was able to pick this up on the way home. Put it up on Patreon and sold out, I think, in 15 minutes. So you guys uh, must really like Finest. So if that's the case, I can try to get more of these. We're doing Series 2 next week, though. That'll be the only product I do next week. Bunch of Series 2 looking. Chance Adams, there we go. Speaking of the Yankees. Like I said, the Yankees have a lot of autographs in this set, in this release. And Timothy M., there you go. Have you pulled a Ryan O'Hearn, says Soldier. Yes, we've pulled two of his autographs, and we'll probably pull one more. It's just the way it seems like, uh, seems like it goes. Austin, you're welcome. I'm glad that I'm able to take your mind off of it. Eric Hosmer, 122 out of 250. DV says, let's see some twins. Okay. Maybe we'll pull a nice Jose Barrios. Jonathan H. with an obligatory super chat. Good luck, folks. Thanks, as always. Eric got a numbered Ronnie Mauricio auto. Posted a vid today. Jonathan H., thank you very much. That $25 Super Chat, I hope you'll check him out. And speaking of $25, Chasing Donnie Baseball says, last Super Chat tonight to thank you, Eric. If anyone wants uh, any more of my remaining teams from my Saturday night Top's Finest case, please check out my Top's Finest preview vid for the eBay link or email me, Chasing Donnie Baseball. Thank you so much. So Jonathan H. and Chasing Donnie Baseball, back-to-back -back $25 Super Chats. Check out both of their channels. Make sure you click on both of those orange Super Chats and give them a sub. Check out Jonathan H. And then also check out Chasing Donnie Baseball on his Top's Finest Break. If you couldn't get into this one and you want to get into a Finest Break, there's one Saturday night. Chasing Donnie Baseball. Thanks, guys. Vladdy Jr., I think that's the fourth Vladdy that we've pulled. It's been about one per case. I think maybe one case might have had two Vladdies in there. Um, let's see here. D. Gorn. I know that Vladdy's card number 101, so I'm not sure if that's a short print or not. All right, next box. Let's see who the auto is out of this one. Do certain teams have more hits than others in this? Yes, definitely. Um, the Braves have a lot. The Yankees have a lot. The Astros have a good bit. I think the Indians have four autos. I'm trying to think who else. I have a whole like sheet that I made up. There's also some teams that have zero autos. Like um, I don't think the Pirates have any. I think the Pirates only have base cards. Jeff McNeil for the second time. Jeff McNeil. This one is going to Mets owner John L. Congratulations. Where are you at there? There you are. John L. with a Jeff McNeil. And this one's also numbered. Just like the last McNeil. It's out of 99. Jeff McNeil is our second hit of that um, master box. Here we go. Gregory Polanco is the last one. Is there a Vladdy Jr. auto in this set? Yep. I do believe there's a Vladdy Jr. auto. I was looking over the autograph checklist, and I think all four of the big rookies are in there, like Tatis. We already pulled him. We have not yet pulled a Peter Alonso rookie or Elo Jimenez. But there's still time. Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts. Next pack. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper. Ryan Barucki, 150. Yep, Kimbrell with a three year, $45 million deal. For the Cubbies. You gotta wonder if that's gonna make um, some other teams make a move. Are the Brewers going to make a move? Maybe. The Cardinals have been scuffling a bit. Are they gonna do something? Possibly. 
How do I feel about Austin Riley's performance so far? I love it. He's killing the ball. He's got like an 1100 OPS. Kind of reminds me a lot of Reese Hoskins when Reese first came up. Remember when Reese Hoskins came up? He was hitting home runs left and right like crazy. Reminds me a lot of that. So, I mean, if um, Austin Riley can be like Reese Hoskins, that's not a bad comparison. All right, here's the next box. Gary says, Top Series 2 has a Tommy Hoskins dual auto. Please pull that. Wow, how do you know that? I've been looking for the um, Tops Series 2 checklist, and I've not seen it out yet. So if you have a link or anything, you can email me. Gary, that would be awesome, as I'd like to get those up and listed within the next couple days, since I have four cases. Baron, thank you very much. Just trying to uh, take it easy on... Cardboard Connection has it up. I checked this morning, and they didn't have it up yet. The checklist just uh, had, like, all the sets listed and just an asterisk. They must have just put that up today, then. All right, here's our next pack. Austin Meadows having a year at the expense of the Pirates. Really wish we still had Austin Meadows, but we don't. We have Chris Archer and his almost six earned run average. And Eddie Rosario. I think somebody was asking for a Twins hit, and there you go. Eddie Rosario, I think he's got 18 home runs this year. Absolutely killing it along with the whole Twins team. Tim S. Congratulations. Tim S. with the Eddie Rosario autograph. That's a nice one. 18 home runs this year. He is really doing well. Probably on track to uh, make the All-Star team. All right, let's see who we got in the rest of these packs. 150, David Peralta, Ilo Jimenez. 3-1 Pirates, says Slim. Okay. But as most of you Buccas fans know, the bullpen still has to pitch. And our bullpen has not been that good. I think we had a, what, 5-0 lead the other day and just totally, totally blew it. Dansby Swanson, Jose Altuve. Last pack of this mini box. We got a couple Braves, Kristen Stewart. Another Kristen. That's an all-rookie pack right there. Five rookies. Allard Wright, two Stewarts, and a Kopech. Kind of cool. I don't know if I'd be happy about two Kristen Stewarts. But if you're a Tigers fan, I guess you would be. Are there any Texas Ranger possible hits? Yes, there is one. Nolan Ryan is in the autograph set. It's pretty much the only thing keeping the uh, Texas Rangers around the $20 mark per team on most of these breaks. Otherwise, I would have listed them around the uh, $7 mark like I did a couple of the other teams. So Nolan Ryan is uh, out there in some of these cases. Hopefully he's in this case. We'll see Tuki Toussaint again. That one's going to the Braves owner, which is Mike M. Mike M, that's our second Tuki Toussaint. Braves, Mike M. There you go. Congrats. Incredible CJ only needs 10 more to get there at 450. Hope you guys will help him out. Was there a giveaway for the boom box? Not this month. I'm going to give that away on Patreon. So if you're a Patreon member, you are automatically entered. I'll probably just do a, I don't know, I'll do that. Maybe just a random drawing at some point within the next day or two. There's a $5 super chat from one of my Patreon patrons. Cal Martorana says, sitting at work, can't wait till break. See, hopefully there's some angels in there. I hope there are two for you. You have the angels. This is break C1 right now. Uh, so far, no angels yet, but I'm hoping for an Otani or Trout for you. I checked the uh, checklist. They're both in there, both on the checklist, but we'll see if um, they come out of this case. I sure hope they do. Dante, how's it going? Yeah, the Kikuchi is definitely different than the other ones. A little bit of a different design. There it is. Speaking of the Kikuchi, you can see this is the back of the regular cards. And this is the back of the Kikuchi. FFUK. So it's its own like little uh, subset there. Insert set. Finest first. So it's a different, different set. It's not a base card. That's why it looks a little different. Still pretty cool. I guess they... Weren't able to get him into the base set in time. 
Um, let's see here. Ozzy Albies, Javi Baez, and Robbie Cano. Next box. This is... Uh, we still got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes left, including this one. Let's see what we get out of here. I'm like swimming in wrappers and boxes here. Get this one sliced open. Speaking of swimming, I'm hopefully going to finally get my swimming pool open tomorrow. It's kind of stupid that it's like June 5th and my swimming pool is still closed. This one is empty. Razor Brand or Taco Salad? Probably neither. I'm probably just going to go right to bed and not eat anything. Pretty stuffed. I had a hoagie. And, um... Oh, here we go. Ryan Barucki for the third time. Hoagie and some pizza tonight. Ryan Barucki, that's going to William S. William Schneider, I think that's who that is. William, if you're watching, you have a Ryan Barucki, and I hope we find the big one for you, which is the Vladdy Jr. Auto. I don't know what that goes for, but some of the Vladdy Jr. Autos that I've already pulled, people have said have been worth about $500 or more, so that's what we're really after. Yosef, yes. He did. Kimbrell to the Cubbies. Three years, $45 million. Next pack. Nothing too crazy in there. Frago Boom, thank you very much for your support. Really appreciate that. George Springer, Matt Olson, and Javier Baez. Any Angels so far? Um, so far, I've seen some Trouts and Otanis, but no... Um, there's the Otani base. The only autos that we've pulled so far for the Angels have been Francis Garcia. So we shall see. Scooter Jeanette is the last one. Any going away gifts for the school crew, says Bob the Press Box Wizard. Um... No, not really. There's only been like two or three people in all my classes this week. Like today, there's like two people in all my classes. Just finals were done, so a lot of the kids are just electing to uh, start their summer early, I guess. So, I mean, I have, I have like a little worksheet they could do for bonus points, but... Got my kids a uh, present. I didn't show it to you guys yet, but I bought them a playground. That's their end-of-the-year present. It's a nice, uh, big... Uh, play set when are you going to do definitive again says ivy mr e i'll do definitive again if i can get it for three thousand dollars a case again i don't feel like paying 3600 per case bryce wilson how about that one bryce wilson that's our i don't even know which braves number this is but that one's going to mike m congrats mike m on your bryce wilson auto salvi perez and eloy jimenez Soldier, I just subscribed. Are you happy? Thank you very much. Really appreciate the subscription. Nice pack. There's a Bregman. Ryan O'Hearn. We're probably going to see his autograph again pretty soon. I feel like Tops um, pretty much abused him in the uh, signing room. They're probably like... All right, Ryan, we just have a few cards for you to sign. Then they set down like five 5,000 count boxes filled with cards. And he's just like, he's like, okay. Maybe that's why he, his signature is so abbreviated. I say Barrios. Mike the Yank, how's it going? No Hunter Dozier love. Yeah, Hunter Dozier's having a season. There's a, a Paul DeYoung out of 250. That's it for that box. Next. See if we can pull something awesome out of here. Hopefully it's not a Ryan O'Hearn. No offense to our Royals owner, David C. I hope it's somebody better than a Ryan O'Hearn for you. 
Maybe a Whit Merrifield wouldn't be bad. Even Brad Keller. I'm just kind of tired of seeing Ryan O'Hearns. Charles says they should bring back the pull-off protective film for 2019 Finest. Yeah, you remember those from like 93, 94 Finest and stuff? Used to have that protective film that says peel here. George Brett, that would be nice. I was thinking that, but I don't I don't know if George Brett is in the uh, is in this release or not. I can't remember. I did all my research like last week. All right, Ryan O'Hearn, there he is. That's just his regular card. Kyle Tucker is the next hit. Kyle Tucker, young Astros prospect. That one is going to Astros owner Linda W. Keeps it going. Linda W. Chet says it was so sweet to peel off that film. I never actually peeled the fil film off. I always just left it on there. I didn't know if it would uh, make the cards less valuable or not. Barrios and Trevor Story. Hey, new Patreon patron, 618 Sports Cards. Thank you very much. Just saw the email notification. Really appreciate that. There's an Acuna, Will Myers, and Juan Soto. Did you pull anything cool, says Dante? A couple things pretty good. Nothing like real crazy, super, super valuable. Um, the best rookie that we pulled was the Tatis. That was out of the first box, Tatis Auto. Uh, Peter Alonso we pulled out of five, but it wasn't an autograph. It was a red parallel. Still have some hope for a Vladdy or a Trout or an Otani or someone like that out of your last few boxes. Austin Meadows. Next box. Next mini box, I should say. The bigger boxes are called Master Boxes. Soldier just pulled the Nolan Ryan, so we're just talking about that. Nolan Ryan is the best Rangers card, so congratulations if you really did pull that. All right, here we go. Usually this first pack always seems to have an auto, and it does again. It is a Kristen Stewart Tigers autograph. That one is going to, oh, I forget how, I said I pronounced your name right, now I forget how, Giuseppe? Giuseppe? Giuseppe, I, I can't remember which one's right, but thank you very much. He said just call you Joe, I think. So Joe, you got a Kristen Stewart coming your way. Young Tigers prospect rookie card there. Baron Grossberg says, just got a Babe Ruth. I don't think you got a Babe Ruth out of finest. Maybe um, Leather and Lumber. Where do I buy a spot, says Steve. I sell these on my Patreon page. So if you just do a Google search of Jabs Family Patreon, or if you check out any of my videos, I always have it linked down in the description. Basically, I post them on there, and then um, I have the link for you. Just click on that link. And... Um, Pick the teams that you want. Peter Alonso. There's the Peter Alonso. The uh, out of five is red background. Says three of five. So that's the uh, probably the best parallel that we pulled by far. Then there's this Marin Rivera die cut finest careers card. That looks like a what 1996 shirt. Yep, 1996 first World Series and Dansby Swanson. Uh, Billy Hamilton out of 250. Uh, looks like my brother and Joe are texting back and forth. We're in a group chat. They're talking about Chris Sabo and the card that they hate more than anything. They hate the uh, Hunt for Red October 1991 scorecard where the uh, Reds are all like celebrating on the field and like Chris Sabo or someone's doing a backflip. So seeing those text pop up here as I'm doing the live stream. Obviously, I can't participate in that text right now. Chris Sabo cheated. I do remember that. Corked back, Chris Sabo. His bat exploded and cork all over the place. Chris Sabo. One more pack in there. C Money says, a kid in my grade just got drafted by the Angels. That's pretty awesome. There's a guy around here, I should say a kid, 
I think his name is Austin Hendrick. He goes to, I think, like, I forget, West Allegheny or something. A lot of the kids I teach played against him and said he's going to be like a top five pick either next year or the year after. But I don't know if anyone's ever heard that name. And there he is, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. It's the second time we pulled him. That one's going to Tommy T. Congrats, Tommy T, on your Cedric Mullins. Jose Altuve. All right, I'm, I'm going to find like a, an all-star now. Enough of these prospect rookie cards. Has a big leaguer ever recreated the F-Face card? I don't think so. I'm sure there's words written like that on the bats, but I don't know if any company would want to uh, put that out there. Next pack. So many Stewart, Kristen Stewart rookies. Steven Duggar. I haven't seen him yet. I bet we pull an autograph of his coming up soon. Steven Duggar. I always feel like um, whenever we pull Cedric Mullins autos, there's usually a Steven Duggar not too far behind. Peter Alonso, Yachty, Bowers, Jake Bowers again, and Juan Soto. It'd be nice to find a Soto autograph. I think he's, his autograph is in the set there. All right, next box. The next mini box. Eric says, you live by Allegheny County or in Allegheny County? I don't live in Allegheny County at all. I'm farther off to the east. I like it out here a lot better. No offense to you uh, Alleghenians. Lower taxes. Better scenery. Um, Colby Allard. Colby Allard. It seems like that first pack always has the autographs in this case. Colby Allard going to the Braves owner. That is going to be Mike M. Congratulations, Mike M. On your Colby Allard autograph rookie card. Here's our next pack. Justice Sheffield, DeGrom, Kluber, Stroman out of 150, and Corbin Burns. I just feel like ripping all these at once. Next throwback video, you should open some, up some pinnacle boxes. Not a bad idea. Like 92 pinnacle, 93 pinnacle. Maybe like 93 pinnacle in the search for Jeter. On the next box, don't do the first pack, says I'd be Mr. E. It's not a bad idea. Since every first pack has had the autograph, it can switch it up a little bit. Soldier just said he just got some of his friends to sub. Thank you very much for that. With uh, subscribers like you, I'll be at 30,000 in no time. Really appreciate the uh, support. Fernando Tatis Jr. It's like opening a fat pack almost of Topps Finest by combining all those packs. Vladdy Jr. just hit a three-run bomb on the Yankees in the bottom of the eighth. Eloy Jimenez. Hopefully Chapman did not give that up since he's on my fantasy team. Chapman, I think, was the player of the week last week. What are you doing for Throwback Thursday tomorrow? I'll be listing two authenticated boxes of 1983 Donruss. Looking for Tony Gwynn rookie, Wade Boggs rookie, Ryan Sandberg rookie, and Chet says he bullied his grandmother into subbing to my channel. Thank you very much. I'm sure she can maybe have us on in the background when she's crocheting or knitting or whatever she's doing. Be funny if she started getting into the breaks. Trout the Beast says, Keeneth is being so toxic. All right, we'll just block him then. All right, next pack. Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. Very, very nice. Francisco Lindor. That's the second time we've pulled a Lindor out of... Um, finest this one is going to linda w congratulations linda that's the best one of this case i would say um some nice ones in there but i think that this one is the best one francisco lindor this is different than the other one that we pulled there's a two dollar super chat from kevin jones it says i haven't seen too many rivera inserts yeah it's been like maybe like two per case or so 
Uh, but very nice. Francisco Lindor going to Linda with the Indians pick. Good choice. I forgot that I was not supposed to do the first pack. It's just force of habit. I'll tear down through these, do like a jumbo pack type of opening. Congratulations, Linda, on yet another hit. Pirates extend their lead over the Braves, 6-1. to one. All right, let's see who's in the rest of this mini box. Justice Sheffield, DeGrom. Incredible CJ is only nine away now from 450. Reese Hoskins, Blue Chip, Rysel Iglesias, Miguel Andujar. He's out for the year, as pretty much most of you know by now. Kershaw, there's a Billy Hamilton out of 150. Still weird to see him in blue and not red. Cody Bellinger, might want to buy stock in his rookie cards. There's a Tatis, Laureano. Orias, Acuna, DJ Stewart, Trey Mancini, Goldie, Luke Voigt, Blue Chips, Mookie Betts, and Corbin Burns is the rest of that box. All right, now I have to remember to mix these up a little bit because that first pack always has the autograph in it. Soldier says, my grandparents just bought me six boxes of Topps Finest, and you got the same Lindor that we did? That's pretty awesome. So you got a Lindor, and you, didn't you say you also pulled a Nolan Ryan? Preston Sports says, you're always great, Jabs. Thank you. Hope the knee is good. Thank you very much, Preston. Leg's doing fine. Just my um, hand is still a little bit uh, messed up. I don't know if you can see the uh, this knuckles. I don't know if I broke my knuckle or what, but it's definitely... Can't really, I don't have full range of motion. It hurts. So I just don't use that finger anymore until it gets better. All right, so I put the first pack on the bottom hoping to switch it up a little bit just because we kept having the autograph as the first card, which kind of like ruined the suspense for the rest of the box. So looks like the auto is probably in that last pack. Glaber Torres, Christian Yellich, and Shohei Otani. Next pack. We've got a Byron Buxton there. Yeah, from all the packs that I opened, that's definitely not going to help uh, help it heal. That's why I'm trying not to use it. At least it's my left hand, not my right hand, because I write with my right hand. I also throw with my right hand. Cleveland Card Connections in the house. How's it going, Cleveland? Triple C. Okay, Carlos Correa, Miguel Andujar, Blue Chips. Are there any relics in Finest? Nope, it's all autographs, which is kind of nice. I prefer autographs over relics, unless the relic is going to be like a one one or something really cool, like that David Ortiz definitive relic that Linda got, one one Okay, here's the last pack of that box. Should have the autograph in there. Chris Shaw. For a second, I thought it was going to be Steven Duggar, just because... I had a feeling we were going to see Duggar. That would have been pretty crazy since I called that out. Chris Shaw going to the Giants. Giants are owned by William R. William R. with the Chris Shaw autographed rookie card there. Max Kepler, Brian Anderson. Two boxes left, two master boxes left tonight on this Wednesday night. Halfway through the week. My last week of work for the year. Or at least for the school year. I'll have to go back to work in late August. Any good hits? Couple Lindor autos have been pretty good. Yadier Molina. Austin Farmer with the $2 Super Chat says, just because I feel generous. Thank you very much, Austin. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check his channel out. Preston says Shaw is struggling right now, but he does have a lot of potential. That's how it kind of goes with a lot of these younger players. Rowdy Telez. Whoops, I forgot to do the uh, first pack last. Rowdy Telez autograph for the Blue Jays. And it's numbered, by the way, 71, if you can see it. 71 of 150. Blue Jays are owned by William S. William S. Carter Sauce says, are you a teacher? Yes, I am a high school teacher. 
And you got a Juan Soto miscut. You can see there is a bit of the uh, card next to it on there. That shouldn't be like that. Um, cool, I guess, though. MG from New Zealand checking in. Thanks for checking in all the way from New Zealand. It's probably one in the afternoon over there right now or so. That's one place I'd like to go to, New Zealand. Just gonna rip down through the rest of these packs since we already got the auto. I forgot to uh, switch it up a little bit there. No Joe iPhone tonight. Nope, I haven't seen Joe iPhone too often anymore. All right, let's see what we have coming out of this one. We have JD Martinez, Miles Michaelis, Dakota Hudson. Um, do you ever trade, sell any of the baseballs you have from 2016 batting practices? I sell some of them, and uh, most of them I've been just giving away on Patreon. I have a $25 tier. Uh, I give away 65 baseballs per month on Patreon to everyone that has a $25 plan and up. Billy Hamilton. There's a few, like, miscut cards in this box. There's another one. Glaber Torres, Max Scherzer. Ronald Guzman, Danny Jansen, Robinson Cano out of 150. Do I care about numbered cards? Says Mini Bleach. Not so much, unless it's like a real low number, like out of like 101 is awesome, or one out of five. But uh, I'm not a huge collector of the parallel sets like some people are. There's a lot of collectors out there that like to uh, put those together. Chet Lemon says, Joe iPhone has me blocked, so I don't care nothing about his whereabouts. All right, here's the next one. Maybe Joe iPhone is just stuck in traffic somewhere. Who knows? Tuki Toussaint again. Tuki Toussaint for Mike M. 357 says, Missouri blocks everyone. Um, Missouri cards, is that who you're talking about? These miscut cards are horrible. Can you send them back to Tops for a placement? You can try. Yep, you would think a, a higher-end product that they would not have that kind of problem. Like there's a uh, Max Kepler miscut Brian Anderson. Three five seven says Missouri cards blocked you because you asked about Micah. Um, I don't know. I wasn't there to uh, see what happened, so can't really speak to that one way or the other. Dave Durango with the two dollar super chat says Hail Sabo also breaking Bowman Mega boxes. That's pretty awesome. I would like to do a Bowman Mega box one of these days out of two fifty. Will Myers, Shoyotani. Yep, nice super chat. Thanks, Dave. Hope you guys will check Dave out there. Give him a sub. Danny Jansen. Byron Buxton. Aaron Judge. Paul DeYoung. Luis Urias. And Chance Adams. You need the wrappers and receipt. Well, what if you buy them in a break on eBay? I would just say print out the receipt. If you're going to send them back for replacement... Print out your eBay receipt or your PayPal receipt and send that in. Where did you find a checklist of all the autos? Cardboardconnection.com. This is our last box of the night, everybody. Very last one. Dawn's late to the party. I'll run through the break C hits um, at the end of this break, but breaks A and B are already put all away in the storage box. So you'll have to just scroll back and find the recaps of those breaks in a little bit once the live stream finishes. All right. Two more autographs. Let's hope it's something good. Put that auto pack on the bottom. Mini Bleed says, do you physically enjoy opening this set? I mean, it's not bad. I don't mind the little five card packs. It's kind of quick. But it's just like opening other any other pack. It's 
I mean, some of the packs that I've opened before have given me a hard time where I've had to, like, pull scissors out and keep cutting them, so I don't mind it. Kevin, I already mixed them up. I put the auto pack at the bottom. That way, because it just seems like that first pack always has the auto. Soldier must have got the best six boxes ever because he just got a Vlad Jr. out of his boxes. He said his grandparents bought him three boxes. Already pulled a Nolan Ryan auto. Francisco Lindor, and now a Vladdy. That is seriously lucky. And Chasing Donnie Baseball with a $5 Super Chat says, Seriously, awesome job again, Eric. You're the best. Thanks for your support. Hopefully you're close to selling out your Saturday break um, on your channel. If you'd like to get in on his break, check out that $5 Super Chat. He started the night, I think, needing 15 teams to be sold. And here's our last one. This one is going to have the auto in it. So we only have two autographs left to go. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. We got Nolan Arnauto, and we have a redemption. So we've already had two redemptions. One of them was a Yachty Molina. The other one was a D.D. Gregorius. This one is a prize performer's autograph variation of... D.D. Gregorius again. So D.D. not up for signing much. That one's going to Timothy M. So that's the second Yankees hit. D.D. Gregorius. Nice um, variation card there. And Preston Sports with a $2 Super Chat says, I got a Luminance box. Luminance box on Friday. Would love your opinion. I don't know anything about that product, actually. Unfortunately, I have to do a little bit of research and um, get back to you on that one. So thank you very much for that super chat. Really appreciate that. And this is the last one, last box of the night. And then um, I don't know if I'll go to bed or start sorting these out. Definitely I need to clean up this giant mess at my feet. Oh, it's football. I don't know anything about football, so I could not help you on that one. I only do baseball, unfortunately. Here is the very last box. Cleveland Card Connection talking some truth. Can't we all just get along? Ryan Barucki, Ryan Barucki, and Matt Olson. So two Baruckis. Should have the autograph coming out of the very last pack. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Noah, thank you very much for watching. Juan Soto blue chip card. Rowdy Telez. Oh, Green Master says, Afternoon from Oz, way down in Australia. Thanks for um, stopping by. It's pretty awesome. You okay, Micah? Something's making you rage. Hopefully everything's okay. I'll have to go back and uh, watch the live stream in more detail. A lot of these um, chats go by so quickly that I can't always keep up, except with the super chats. There's a Finest Careers, 42, Mariano Rivera, die cut card, and it is commemorating his 2003 ALCS MVP award. Pretty nice. Brian Anderson, Max Kepler. Two packs left. Any way I can get that, says Michael. You're going to have to talk with Timothy M. about that one. He's the owner of that card. Willie Adames. Then Mitch Haniger. Justin Smoke, 88 of 99. And Buster Posey. So that takes us to the very last card of the night. Or last pack of the night. For our last autograph of the night. Here it is, very last one. Nice hobby pack of Top's Finest. Steven Duggar, Tiki Dusant. The autograph is always the third card in the pack. I hope it's Nolan Ryan. That would be pretty sick. It's going to be an Astros player. Okay. Astros player. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. 
How about that? It's going to be a George Springer autograph. George Springer. We'll take that one. George Springer's on his way to an all-star appearance this year. Uh, lots of home runs. Uh, having a great season. That is a good pull. And chasing Donnie Baseball uh, with another $5 Super Chat says, hold on to your 2019 Stars and Stripes three nights ago. 20 bucks a box. Now after the draft, 50 to 80 bucks a box. Good man. I wish I would have had the foresight to pick up a case of those. Um, good advice for next year. Uh, Chasing Donnie Baseball. Have to get a couple of those cases for next year and break them after the draft. Thank you for uh, the $5 Super Chat, Chasing Donnie Baseball. Check out his channel if you haven't already. So this one, by the way, is going to Linda W. with the George Springer. And that's the last hit of the night. So I'll recap the hits for you right now before we get on out of here. Soldier just got the same Springer five minutes ago. Wow. You should be recording that break. That's pretty awesome. You're having the break of a lifetime. So let's see here. We got the George Springer. And then Didi Gregorius, Tuki Toussaint, Rowdy Telez, Chris Shaw, Francisco Lindor was a nice one. That might have been the best hit on the night, either that or the Springer. Colby Allard, Cedric Mullins, Kristen Stewart, Kyle Tucker, Bryce Wilson, Ryan Barucki out of 150, Tuki Toussaint again, Eddie Rosario, and then we had a Jeff McNeil, pulled a couple of him tonight. And Chance Adams was our first hit out of this final case of 2019 Top's Finest. Chet says, thanks for having me. Thank you for watching the stream, everybody. Uh, really appreciate you spending uh, the last two-plus hours with me. So um, tomorrow we'll be doing Throwback Thursday. It looks like it's going to be 1983 Donruss, two authenticated boxes of that. And then... Friday, we'll be doing Fan Mail Friday. And then Saturday, I have a sponsor video that I need to do. I'll probably do that sponsor video on Saturday. And um, I'll also see where I end up this Saturday at flea markets or whatever, or baseball card shops or baseball card stores. So lots of stuff always in the works. Thank you so much once again for spending the last two hours with me. I'm going to clean up my mess and um, probably go to bed. So hope you have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. Good night, everybody.